Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to official channel Video Prog Vlogger. Here you'll find all sorts of powerful techniques to make a good video. If that is what you are after, consider clicking the subscribe button to subscribe our channel. Most of you must have seen black balls in the videos, either in YouTube or other places online. The reason why there are black balls in the videos is because of the irrelevant aspect ratio. Well, let's go a little farther on this one. The most common aspect ratio in the early video is 4x3. And a lot of films nowadays would go for 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. Internet videos are mostly 16 to 9. While for mobile app, 1 to 1 aspect ratio is typically found on Instagram or the vertical format like line 216 in TikTok. Once the aspect ratio of the video is different from that using the pleasure, you will end up seeing black balls on the sides or around of the video. If you want to make this eye source go away, then keep watching. In today's tutorial, we will break down how to use the video product vlogger to remove the black balls in the videos and how to convert landscape to portrait. First thing first, make sure you have set a video prog in your computer. You can find the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get started. Before you dive in your work, you need to figure out if the subject that you wish to keep in the frames makes any move. Then, based on which, decide accordingly how to make the crop. There comes along two types of cropping. First off, if the subject is moving, you could go direct to motion editor to do the cropping which will save you a lot of works. To perform that, create a project first. Well, for this case, we will go with 9 by 16 for TikTok. And you can just select the aspect ratio that you want for your project. Import the clips that you are processing. Then drag it to timeline and hit motion button here. As motion editor pops up, click add keyframe. Be sure to add your keyframe when the playhead is placed at the first frame far left. After adding a keyframe, go to your frame control in the attribute bar down here and activate aspect ratio. After applying, there would show up a cropping box in the first frame of the clip. Now move the box so that the main subject could fill the middle of the screen. Then pull the playhead to an end and add another keyframe here. Hit play to preview the video. If you find a subject is somewhere not in the frame while you're playing the video, then simply add a keyframe to this point. Adjust the size, position, and all that to keep the subject in the center again. The more keyframes you add, the more fluent the final result will be. Alright, so now let's see how it works out. Fairly good. Hit apply. When you go back to your main interface, you might sometimes find the image turning quite small on the screen. If that is the scenario you run into, don't worry. Navigate to your transform in the inspector at right hand, one click here, and you can resize the image to fit the screen. If there is nothing else to adjust, hit apply. All this added a build upon a moving subject, but if the subject doesn't make any drastic movement, you could then use a crop tool in the toolbar to make the edits. We will show you how here. Create a project as you launch a software. And in the video resolution here, select a spec ratio that you want to work with. Like um, 9 by 16 if you want to upload to TikTok. Then, put your video to the video track. Select a video and click crop. As the crop window jumps out, choose the proper aspect ratio down below here. Feel free to drag the progress bar to preview the video. Meanwhile, you can move the cropping box to reskill retained images until you get a pleasant result. Then, you hit export. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's tutorial. We'll share with you more useful and powerful technique for video editing. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. We'll see you soon in our next videos. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.